yeah, <laughs> this is the second look that I'm going to do from the uh, Indian Bahu series, from the um, Star Plus serial. So uh, this one is Akshara, as she is today, uh, a married lady who's been married for about a year now. Um, so she's no longer covering her hair and she's getting into trouble. Um, doing what you and me would think is absolutely normal stuff, but you know, because she lives in such a restricted joint family, you know, if she changes from um, a sari to a kameez, she will get told. Oh, no. She's pretty much restricted in her house, but her makeup is flawless, and still she wakes up in the morning with a full face of makeup. But there you go, that's um, TV for you. Um, um, pigmentation around my mouth and under my eyes with Max Orange Cream Colour Corrector and um, concealer on top. Um, I've got another video which I'll link at the bottom to show you how to do that but I don't want to waste your time doing that on camera. I'm going to go on top with um, MAC's Full Coverage Foundation. I'm just going to do a light coverage but making sure that it is flawless. So I'm, I literally just, when I, I tend to just take a little bit off the ends there and then spread that over my face. You can use um, any medium buildable foundation and if you're going lightly to start off with and then build up where in areas where you need it the most. I'm just going to be using um, a little number 7 um, loose powder. I'm applying painterly paint pot. I forgot to hit the record button um, when I did this eyeshadow look. I've used Amber Lights, which is a golden colour. Taken a bit on the brush and applied that in the middle here, concentrated the colour here, and then taken that in towards the inner corner of the eye. Then I've taken my favourite eyeshadow, which is Foley, which is um, a MAC, and it's a very um, it's a matte brown eyeshadow and I've basically applied a concentrate of colour here and then gone over the brow bone and inwards. I'm just very gently tapping in to get a little colour and building it up. I'll just deepen that colour in the crease. And then on top of that, I've gone in with Jest, which is a mink pink colour, very light. Taken a bit off on my brush and applied that just over the brow bone here and used that to soften this brown colour and also just at the top though, not at the crease, and to um, give a gentle highlight under the brow bone as well. I've also used that colour on the inner corner of this eye just to give a nice uh, graduation or a fade between the two colours here. The eyeliner is a little bit different these days. She tends to flick it out a little bit just up here. So I'm just going to do that like this. and then connect them. The story so far with um, Akshara is that she has just um, lent her father-in-law some money that's come from her father's house and he's not very happy so he's um, not speaking to them at the moment. That line is really nice um, and thin and suitable for my eyes but her eyeliner is much thicker so I'm going to carry on building that line up. She doesn't flick out too much now from here but it still does come under. I'm 
I made a mistake just here, but I don't care because I'm going to blend it in a minute. That should be fine. Okay, so I've applied the eyeliner. I'm just going to smudge that with a little dark brown eyeshadow. Just by giving it a little sweep with the foundation brush, it just softens everything under the eyes as well. For my mascara up, I'm just going to deepen a little bit more with the Foley. Just really want to deepen it more over this corner here. Just using a dark brown, just here on top of that, just to further deepen that outer corner. And it's no special dark brown, it's just well, it is special to me. It's just the dark brown on this palette. That palette with all the colours, the 88 palette. And I think I'm happy with that. I'll finish off with um, Volume Million Lashes. Here you go, so the eyes are complete. Um, you can wear false lashes if you want to. I don't need to, um, but she definitely does wear them um, for her role. I'm going to use Inglot's Brow Wax to just keep the um, brow in shape. Brow powder there on top. Akshar's cheeks are really well defined so they kind of go up and then curve up here and that makes her look like she's got really full cheeks in this area and really lifts them up and I really like it um, on her, I think it really suits her. So I'm going to try and copy that. Now what I'm using is Max Contour Powder in Shade Star, which is a very matte um, brown shade here. I'm just going to use an eyeshadow brush for this because I want a very small brush. Um, in my last tutorial I did it using um, foundation, but you can use foundation, concealer or eyeshadow to do this. I'm just going to trace that shape with this brush. I'm not going to blend it in when I work on the other side, just so that I can make sure that I've got the shapes correct. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, because you can always use your foundation brush to clean up and start again if you need to be. <laughs> that looks weird. Okay, so I'm just going to use a um, blusher brush just to buff that in. Now when I blend out from this point on I want to be blending downwards and not bring it up because I want the shadow to fall underneath the cheekbones as it as it would normally be. I know this looks you can still see it here line but once some powder goes on your your blush powder then um, that should reduce it down a little bit more. This is my Makeup International blush palette and I'm going to be using this colour here which is a pink. So when I'm applying blush I'm not going beyond that colour that I've applied under here, I'm just keeping it within this area. The colour she tends to go for are pinks and golds and browns. And her blush tends to be quite flushed as well. It doesn't, it's not necessarily like that. Because she's got this shape going on, the blush kind of goes around as well. I'm just going to use what I've got on my brush and on the cheeks and just move that around a little bit. But not coming too close. About brushes, keep away about, you know, that much away from your nose. And it's really important when doing blush like this to make sure you conceal 
any blemishes under the blush because it can make it look dirty. And then to finish off on top of that I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight, a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to use this um, Body Shop um, Baked Bronzer. It's called Golden Bronze. I've used it before. Um, I have noticed that lately you do see a, a little bit of a highlight on the cheek. And I think that's enough. If you feel like the area around the face is has gone dirty just from touching it or the it's just seeped down out into the skin, into the pores since you've been working, just apply a little bit more of the foundation, just very, very lightly. I finished off the look with a spritz of um, Fix Plus from MAC and the lipstick I used was Naked Paris. It looks really dark but actually it comes on quite quite sheer and I've, I haven't really you know, put a lot on, I've just um, put it on very lightly with my lip brush. Um, I've straightened my hair because Akshara, unless it's um, you know, a party, she won't curl her hair for the show, or her artist won't curl her hair, it will, it will always be quite straight. Um, I've teamed the look with a sari because these days, as a married woman, um, living in a joint family, it's quite traditional and she seems to have all these responsibilities and, you know, these chores that she has to do on a daily basis. She doesn't really seem to have much fun in her married life. Um, so she's always often dressed in a sari, so I've put on a pink sari today that's gold and that was why I decided to do um, gold eyeshadow. Anyway, I really hope I pulled the look off well. If you want to know how to um, put on a sari, then I've got a video for that as well. Um, I'll put a link in the comments box below. Um, but yeah, I, I think I've done a pretty good job. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. I just wanted to mention at the end, actually, that if you're going to... Um, do this look for a Lady Sangeet, a Mendy party, a henna party, an engagement party, and you're going to be doing the dancing as well. You're going to do maybe a song from, you know, one of their um, shows. Like a lot of people did the sadhana and the ragini, the vidai thing. A lot of people did that for a long time. Um, if you're going to dress up in a sari and do it, do the dance in a sari, then have the sari the Gujarati way um, because she wears it that way with the balu in the front and the you know the, the bit falling at the back there. So you just want to to, to dress that way as well.